Mr. President, I was surprised a bit, or you're never totally surprised in this body, when my Democrat colleagues are saying this morning that something bad has happened because the historic budget that would change the debt course of America that has been announced by Congressman Paul Ryan and his House Budget Committee today violates the Budget Control Act. It spends a few billion dollars less than what was capped in the Budget Control Act. But the Budget Control Act that passed that did put a, a cap on spending uh, a little over a trillion dollars uh, uh, next year for discretionary spending only, uh, that that trillion dollar plus cap, they were reducing the spending by 10 or 15 or 19 billion uh, in their proposed budget today. That this somehow violates good spirit around here. The Ryan budget proposed to spend $180 billion next year, less than the president's budget that he submitted earlier this year proposed. And did the president's budget adhere to the BCA? My colleagues are, oh, they're just mostly disheartened that Republicans would take the spending down uh, below the level by about $19 billion or so under the Budget Control Act numbers. But I didn't hear them complaining when President Obama submitted his budget. You know what the president's budget did? It wiped out over half of the spending cuts in the uh, uh, Budget Control Act. Can you imagine that? We agreed on $2.1 trillion in, in spending reductions. A trillion of that uh, was uh, voted on explicitly, and $1.1 trillion was an automatic sequester or automatic cut in spending if the committee didn't reach a long-term agreement. The committee didn't reach an agreement, so automatically a trillion one dollars in cuts were uh, to be imposed. That's the current law. President Obama's budget wipes it out. Not only does he add, therefore, $1.1 trillion immediately to spending as a result of wiping out the sequester that we agreed on just last August, he adds another $500 billion in spending. His budget that he submitted just a few uh, weeks ago calls for spending increases of $1.6 trillion more that was in the Budget Control Act. And so my good friend, Senator Conrad, who chairs the Budget Committee and our Democratic leadership that are threatening a government shutdown because Congressman Ryan and a responsible House Budget Committee proposed actually taking a few more billion dollars out of discretionary spending, uh, they want to complain about that. I didn't hear them complaining when we had the most astounding event after the president signed the Budget Control Act, it passed by both houses at the 11th hour, a compromise agreement, a compromise we all knew was not sufficient. Five months later, before the ink is hardly dry on it, he proposes to wipe it out. No wonder the American people don't trust Congress. We say in August, we're going to save $2.1 trillion. Trust us and we're going to raise the debt ceiling so America uh, can continue to borrow at this extraordinary rate. Uh, but we're going to cut spending. We're going to raise it, but don't worry. We've promised and we've cut spending. It just points out to me how silly it is that our colleagues here in the Senate would complain about Congressman Ron. The American people gave the, Dem the Republican a majority in the House of Representatives. We are facing the most systemic debt threat this nation has ever faced. And they knew it. And they proposed last year and again this year a historic budget that would alter the debt course we we're on, take us from unsustainability to sustainability, take us on a path that we would hope avoid a debt crisis. Although we're so close to it, I'm not sure we can avoid it. Hopefully we can. Uh, that we can avoid a debt crisis, but our debt is tremendous. Our individual per capita debt is 
$12,000 per man, woman, and child, greater than any country in Europe, greater than Greece. We are, at, we are in the danger zone. Clearly we are. So they proposed this budget uh, last year and again this year, and it laid out a plan. So what happened? The President of the United States calls Congressman Ryan and castigates him in a speech, and he's sitting right in front of him. The House, the Senate Democrats, who haven't produced a budget in three years because they're afraid to, because they had not got the courage to lay out the tough choices that are going to be necessary to save this republic financially, they attacked Congressman Ryan and his House members for trying to do the right thing. It's unbelievable to me. I just am amazed. And now we have them complaining that he goes a little below the Budget Control Act numbers. Give me a break. Does not anybody know what's going on here? The American people do. They, they gave a shellacking to a lot of the big spenders in the last election. Surely we would have thought Congress got the message. The House did. Apparently the Senate is not. Senator Reid, our majority leader, he said it'd be foolish to have a budget. Foolish to have a budget? The law requires us to have a budget. By April 1st, we should have one in, uh, in, the, in the committee. We're not going to be meeting before then. And we should have one passed uh, both houses by April 15th. That's the law in the United States Code. Unfortunately, I guess we don't go to jail as a result of not passing one because we hadn't passed one here for three consecutive years.